The World Health Organization, the World Food Programme, the United Nations Standing Committee on Nutrition and the United Nations Children's Fund recommend the use of mid-upper arm circumference, known as MUAC, and the presence of a nutritional edema for identifying severely malnourished children for admission into therapeutic feeding programmes. Mid-upper arm circumference may also be used to identify moderately malnourished children for admission into supplementary feeding programmes and other nutrition support programmes. Mid-upper arm circumference and nutritional edema are independent criteria for admission into therapeutic feeding programmes. Children with very thin upper arms should be admitted to therapeutic feeding programmes. Children with nutritional edema should also be admitted to therapeutic feeding programmes, even when they do not have very thin upper arms. This video shows how to identify nutritional edema and how to measure mid-upper arm circumference using a colour banded MUAC strap. A child with nutritional edema is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding program. To determine the presence of edema, press your thumbs on both of the child's feet for three seconds. Three seconds is the time needed to say 1001, 1002, 1003. After three seconds, lift your thumbs. If a shallow pit remains after you have lifted your thumbs, then the child has oedema. If a shallow pit remains on both feet, then the child has nutritional oedema. Because the pit remains on both feet, nutritional oedema is sometimes called bilateral pitting oedema. Only children with oedema on both feet are classified as having nutritional oedema. A child with nutritional oedema is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme. To determine the presence of oedema, press your thumbs on both of the child's feet for three seconds. Three seconds is the time needed to say 1001, 1002, 1003. After three seconds, lift your thumbs. If a shallow pit remains on both feet, then the child has nutritional oedema. A child with nutritional oedema is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme. Mid-upper arm circumference should only be measured on children who are at least six months old. You should ask the mother about the age of the child before measuring the mid-upper arm circumference. If the child is less than six months old, then do not measure its mid-upper arm circumference. Mid-upper arm circumference should only be measured on children who are at least six months old. You should ask the mother about the age of the child before measuring the mid-upper arm circumference. If the child is less than six months old, then do not measure its mid-upper arm circumference. Mid-upper arm circumference is always measured at the midpoint between the child's shoulder and elbow. The circumference of the arm measured at any other point is not a measurement of mid-upper arm circumference. Care should be taken to ensure that you take the measurement at the midpoint between the child's shoulder and elbow. At the midpoint between the child's shoulder and elbow, wrap the MUAX measuring strap around the arm. Thread the narrow end of the strap through the smaller slit on the broad end of the MUAC measuring strap, coming up from below the strap. Pull both ends of the strap until the strap fits closely around the child's arm. Do not pull the strap tightly. 
do not leave the strap loose. Here the strap is being pulled too tightly. Here the strap is too loose. Here the strap fits closely round the child's arm and is neither too tight nor too loose. Press the broad end of the strap against the child's arm and note the colour shown in the window between the two arrow marks. Red indicates that the child is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme. Orange indicates that the child is moderately malnourished and should be referred to a supplementary feeding programme or other nutrition support programme. Green indicates that the child is not malnourished. Remember that a child with nutritional edema is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding program, even if the mid-upper arm circumference measurement is not read. Mid-upper arm circumference should only be measured on children who are at least six months old. Mid-upper arm circumference is always measured at the midpoint between the child's shoulder and elbow. Care should be taken to ensure that you take the measurement at the midpoint between the child's shoulder and elbow. When measuring mid-upper arm circumference, the strap should fit closely around the child's arm. Do not pull the strap tightly. Do not leave the strap loose. Red indicates that the child is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme. Orange indicates that the child is moderately malnourished and should be referred to a supplementary feeding programme or other nutrition support programme. Green indicates that the child is not malnourished. A child with a red mid-upper arm circumference is severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme. A child with nutritional edema is also severely malnourished and should be referred to a health facility or a therapeutic feeding programme.